Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today is about a Bitwig extension you can install and it's completely for free. Um, that helps you to generate uh, some names for your project and also gives you a random sample or preset from the browser. And it's available here on this page, IO page. And you can see we have here the randomizer. You can unfold this. And then you can select, for instance, you have randomized browser selection, which is the first feature here. And let's say you are in the sampler here and you want to select a sample and you, you're not really sure what sample to pick, right? And then you can you click this button here, say random, select random item. And then it selects some sample here from the browser. Of course, you can pre preview here with the keyboard. Um, you can also hit this multiple times so you get different selections. So it helps you kind of randomize uh, sample selection. Um, and not only that, you can also go here to the presets if you want to, right? We have all the presets instead of samples. And then you can also select random item here and then select some presets at random. And sometimes this is really helpful to um, yeah, get over the making a decision, basically get over this and uh, just go with the flow and just go with some something random lead you to in interesting results, maybe. And uh, I really like this. And then if you are OK with that, you can also click your add current item or just click OK. I think it's it's the same thing. Um, and then when you made your track and you want to save it or you want to save a preset, let's say you want to save preset to library, right? And then you need the name. And then you can do this here with the random name generator. You click generate and then it's combining here um, to current date um, with the random name. You can also do this here multiple times. If you don't like the date, you can also switch this off. Um, you have to go to your controller settings then to the Koenig panel randomizer here and you can just deselect prepend date for file name. And then uh, you have just a name, right? And yeah, you can then maybe also use this here as a as a, um, yeah, a file name for your project. I really prefer using the date here, I have to say. Then you just copy this and save as, and then put this in and then you have a project name at least something um, something interesting something random you can rename it anytime after that if you maybe have a name that f suits your project better uh, but for the moment where you just need a name and maybe a date then this is completely nice to have in my opinion so how do you install this right so you Go to the Bitwig, um, to the GitHub page here. I link to that in the description below. Go to the GitHub page and then there's a release, releases um, button here on the right side. You can see there's only one release. Click on that and then you can see here the randomizer.bv extension file. And you can download this to your download folder, of course. And then all you have to do, you have to put this file into your documents bitwig studio extensions folder and then you can just put it there it's super simple actually and then you don't need to restart bitwig it just takes a moment you maybe can see here the spinner on the right top corner the spinner spinning and then after a while it becomes available inside bitwig studio then you have to go to your settings page here to the controllers right you can go settings controllers and then you have to add a new controller. Click that. As a hardware vendor, you select here the Koenig panel option. And then you can see your randomizer. It's basically a, a controller, a controller script. And then you have this new page here. You can't select any MIDI input because you don't need that. And um, you can select your prepend date for file name or not, just how you like it. And then it should be available here on the right side on this IO page where you have to just unfold this and then you have it here all the times. Um, also what you generated here is saved with your project. So you have this available anytime 
um, you open the project again. So it's a very nice Bitwig extension, very useful. And I think there are more features coming to this, I guess. But for now, it's very useful, at least for me, having here um, a random name for the project for presets I do every day. And I have to think about some, you know, have to come up with some weird names for presets. It's, uh, yeah, it's very nice to have. And I really wish Bitwig integrates something like this into Bitwig Studio natively. Um, here, when you say save, save as or save that you have a new project or even when you create a new project, right? You have your new three, maybe give us date, a random name, a random string or something like this could be sometimes really helpful in my opinion. Okay, so that's all for today. I want to show you, give this preset or this extension a try. It's very helpful. And um, yeah, also thanks to the creator itself. Maybe he can put up some um, donation button here. I think it's possible on GitHub itself. So yeah, thanks for watching and have fun with it. Until next time, see you and bye.